Welcome to Piazza. Piazza is a new tool that we can use to do Q&A. So as we're handling distance learning and we're trying to figure out how to do office hours effectively, this is a tool that my grader uses when he's in college classes and he has a bunch of people and they all are trying to get answers to sometimes very often the same questions, but also a variety of questions. And his teachers and teaching assistants are able to use this same interface to all work together to make sure that people get their questions answered efficiently. So there's a couple cool things I want to show you because I want to try using this um, to help you guys if you have questions that come up over these next two weeks while we're doing distance learning. So this is a Piazza. I think I'm showing you the internet tab that I think I'm showing you. I'll review this later to make sure. But what you're seeing is right here is sort of your general Piazza console. So whenever there's a question that gets asked, whether you ask it or someone else asks it, um, like this question, it this is like your reader window and the window the window that you use to interface with the question. Okay. So let's say that you this is a this is a question that I put in here as an example. What kind of tape did he use in the day one sticky tape lab video? Because I recorded a video for you to watch. Um, and I can come in, but also you can come in and answer the question. So we'll get to that. We don't want to go too fast yet. Um, let's say you have a question. You're doing an activity one day and you have a question that comes up. You can go here, click on new post, and you can decide if it's a question, if you need an answer to something, or if it's just a note. Um, honestly, I don't know yet if you have these buttons, um, the note button and the poll in class response button. I'm guessing you don't have this one, but maybe you do. I don't know. Um, and again, you probably have options that say post to entire class or post to the instructor. Um, but so what you do, let's say you have a question. You, you pose the question. You write the summary of the question. Like, what is uh, Mr. Fenner's favorite type of ice cream? OK. Um, posts, I guess Piazza will bring up posts that are similar. This is not similar, so I'm just going to ignore it. Um, maybe I have to delete it because that's not similar. No. OK, I'm just going to leave like that. Um, this is a description of the question. This is not where you put the answer. So if you have a question, you really just need help. You just put the question in the summary and then post the question. OK, it's going to show up as a question. Um, if I refresh my window here, maybe, hopefully, yeah, so if I'm focusing on day one, so this is our day one folder. So these are all of the questions that would come up on day one. We have folders for the different days as well. Um, this question, it, uh, it's currently red, which I'm guessing means it's unanswered. So if you were to see a red question, you can come in and you can answer it. You can be the hero in this case for someone else. Um, if I see it during office hours or during the the kind of two hour period right after we have our morning check ins, um, I'll go into the question and I can answer it. Um, <laughs> and I'm vegan right now. So I'm just going to say vegan ice cream. There are some good ones out there, believe it or not. Um, so there we go. I can even say, hey, that's a great question. And then the author of that will see, oh, instructor thinks this is a good question. I can also say that that's a good answer. So if you're worried, like, oh, my answer is not going to be good, you can still put the, the answer up. And um, if it's not great, then I, I won't select it. And that's OK. It's not the end of the world. OK, last thing. Um, if you go to post. I th there's a way for you to make your post anonymously. So just know that. You don't need to put your name attached to these questions. Okay. Um, I have a five minute limit on these videos right now. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.